So now we are going to travel to a different country, which is the Czech Republic. Uh, we will have five institutions uh, presenting uh, themselves uh, uh, today. We are going to start with uh, the Palatsky University in Olomouc. So please, the floor is yours. Thank you. So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Hanna Ovsiankova. I work at the Grand Office of the Faculty of Arts uh, of Palatsky University in Olomouc. And among other things, I coordinate the preparation of application for Marie Curie fellowships. Since 2020, uh, our faculty gradually gained 11 incoming and free outgoing fellowships at the faculty. A very crucial aspect of the success uh, is the work of the team at the grant office, which is involved in the preparation and implementation of Marie Curie fellowships. And in my presentation, I want to address what it means to be a hosting institution. Generally, when we host a dinner party or a barbecue, we want our guests to feel welcome, accepted, and that they are taken care of. So if a university or other institution decides to host Marie Curie fellowships, I believe that they should first have answered for themselves what kind of host they want to be, how they want to present themselves, what they want to offer, and what kind of relationship they want to establish with applicants. As an example, please allow me to briefly introduce the strategy of our grant office, which I would summarize very simply with the slogan, we do care. And um, so what does it look like in practice? Please next. Every year we organize a preparatory cycle that starts in January and is phased until the deadline of the call. We usually first approach suitable supervisors at the faculty, prepare a seminar for them and promote their profile on different platforms. Besides error access and the Marie Curie matchmaking platform, we also approach partners uh, within our Aurora Alliance or partners with whom we have Erasmus contracts. In parallel, we update the interest of applicants from last year who were not yet fully prepared and encourage our own students to consider the benefits of the fellowship for their future career development. We then run a series of seminars and workshops for applicants that go into depth on each section of excellence, impact and implementation. Each year we devise a slightly different scheme to make the preparation more effective and engaging. As you can see in the slide, we guide incoming and ongoing applicants from the very research idea to the final click on the submit button in the funding and tender portal. We train, advise, help and teach, but they'll also do a lot of encouraging and motivating. Next, please. Each year applicants come from countries all over the world, so most of the preparation activities are done online. However, we try to meet in person whenever we can. This way we can meet local candidates in individual consultations. For those coming in, their supervisors then try to find opportunities and means to invite them to stay with us for at least a few days. In other ways, we are striving to create opportunities for a first acquaintance with the hopefully future hosting institution a strengthening of relationship with the supervisor and also for working intensively together on the application. Next, please. Every gate fellow is of course a great joy, but also a bit of a worry. For them, it is a combination of excitement, anticipation, culture shock and pressure to adapt quickly. Therefore, we as a grant office cooperate with the welcome office and other faculty departments in an effort to help them acclimate quickly and efficiently so they can fully pursue their fellowship from the very beginning. Each fellow has an administrator who takes care of all project formal and operational matters, but also helps the fellow to settle in. Returning to my metaphor of hosting a dinner party, we really try to be the best host possible so that our fellows feel welcome and have the best facilities for their work. In a purely pragmatic sense, this approach pays off for us in terms of the long-term sustainability of relationships with fellows and their home institutions. Follow-up collaborations and last but not least, good references to other scholars abroad. Next, please. Uh, yeah, please, <laughs> the full slide. 
Um, finally, I would like to mention an advantage that we can benefit from as an institution established in widening country. This benefit is the Marie Curie CZ program implemented under the Jan Amos Comenius operational program. Once our applicant exceeds at least the threshold, we as an institution can apply for funding for his project from Czech structural funds. In addition, there is a 5% co-financing by the hosting department. Of course, we primarily try to prepare excellent projects that will be supported directly by the European Commission. But it also happens occasionally that someone has a very well-developed project that is not supported in this way by only because of lack uh, of funding or has a slightly lower score below 90%. Because we like to promote skillful, hardworking and determined scholars, we offer such researchers a second chance or backup plan in the form of Marie Curie says that. Next. In the preparation and implementation of Marie Curie fellowship projects, the helping, mentoring and serving aspect of the project manager's work is significant. It is an investment in the young generation of scientists and we believe and are gradually observing that it makes a difference. So thank you for your atten attention. Thank you so much, Hannah, for um, this presentation, very concise, and congratulations for the work that you are doing uh, to for the researchers and to attract uh, researchers from, I believe, around the world. So we are going to continue with our next presentation from the Czech Republic, which will be um, representing the Charles University. Do we yes, have... Hello, Andre. Hi. Okay. Good afternoon. Let me show your slides. Give me a second. And the five minutes are all yours. Please Wonderful. go ahead. Thanks so much, Vicky. I'm really glad to be here. Um, thanks for giving us a place. And um, I would like to present some uh, procedure we also try to establish with uh, uh, in view of. Uh, uh, helping MSCA uh, applicants to settle in at the Charles University. Uh, I'm, I'm speaking from the perspective of the European Centre, where we provide comprehensive uh, grants, support, basically for all researchers who are active currently at the Charles University, but also those who would like to um, search work and also certain uh, fellowships, such as my Kaki reactions. Uh, and this is something we are we are we have been focusing on um, several years now, and we try to um, get a pipeline of uh, those activities very similar to that of uh, Palatsky University that just spoke. Um, and nevertheless, we have tried to add some uh, some let's say, specifics to this to this agenda that we have at least tried to uh, establish. I will try. I'm very happy to to share them with you. So, this is very okay. I can ask you the next slide. This is something just to give you an example or an idea of how many uh, of how wide the Charles University is. So this is very very hard for us to search for, uh, let's say, um, certain axis of competence that we would like to focus because we are we are uh, providing at the central level from the rectorate's office we are providing the support for uh, eighteen faculties, some of which are in Prague and uh, some of which are even in the regional cities around. But uh, you can see that the, the, the variety is quite uh, large. Uh, nevertheless, it's, Vicky, I can ask you the next slide. Uh, it is, uh, you can see that there are several strong points uh, in uh, our subject and there, there are these that we try to focus. Uh, one of which uh, is also linked with the fact that we, are, uh, we have several medical, uh, medical faculties. So you can see that among the subjects in the global top 150, we can we can find anatomy and physiology representing those medical uh, university medical faculties. Among those representing social sciences and humanities, and which are very well uh, so uh, unwelcome or they are very competitive, let's say in the, at the European and the global level, you can see economics and uh, also political sciences and international uh, uh, international studies. Uh, and uh, last but not least, we also specialize in. Geography, you can, you, can, you can find it in many, um, let's say, Horizon uh, Europe and Horizon 2020 supported projects. 
Uh, last but not least, our um, let's say the most competitive axis, which is very dynamic in the last uh, and we've seen the development of artificial intelligence and also other computational linguistics, uh, it is it is uh, basically the the sciences era about about the language. So this uh, linguistic trick, if I can ask you the next slide. Uh, so in in support of Maris Kotska, three actions. We are trying to uh, well develop a certain relation of trust within within the uh, trainees who uh, try to come at uh, the Charles University. Most of them are uh, let's say directly in communication with different faculties, with different supervisors. But nevertheless, some of us, some of them are also uh, directly pointing at us and trying to ask uh, and trying to find the best uh, supervisor for them. So we are we are here for that for, for both of these. Uh, um, activities and uh, uh, we have we have been quite successful. Which if I can ask you to keep the next slide, especially in fo on focusing on the practice on fine tuning uh, the abstracts and the series uh, of uh, of the prospective research. So this is something that has its own um, let's say chemistry where the abstract needs to identify the problem, propose the let's say, solution to the problem, and give uh, a certain hint how this exploitation will be used in future. Also, uh, we, were, we were quite successful in focusing on, uh, on the CVs, uh, trying to uh, fine tune, uh, let's say, the, something which is uh, seen as the first uh, um, like the window of the evaluator towards the researcher. So how the researcher present, presents himself or herself uh, and try to put in front those uh, activities which that can fit the best to the to the proposed project. Vicky, I can ask you the next slide. Uh, we have been trying to uh, work quite uh, uh, in a I would say narrow cooperation with uh, uh, national contact points who are focusing directly on these uh, um, different activities in view of uh, uh, supporting the, the national landscape. But also we have, we have been trying to work with the former grantees or the current grantees uh, who can who are also keen to share their experience and try to uh, let's say motivate their own colleagues to to uh, repeat the success they have. And last but not least, we are also working with the pool of evaluators from the from the Charles University who can uh, provide the best practice from the other way around. So they can, uh, and as a, as the result, you can see the list of uh, of uh, the Maris Prosca three actions, uh, either uh, individual projects or the networking projects that we have which were successful in the last year. And this is basically it. If I can, if I can just uh, ask you to show the last slide, and this is where you can see the contact of. Uh, our um, European Center, uh, together with the phone number and perfectly the uh, email contact there, you can be reached anytime. So we'll be happy to help you with your Maris Prosca reactions application anytime. And please keep in touch. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Andrea, for sharing this information and uh, introducing the opportunities that are offered by the Charles University. Now we are going to move on to the next presentation, which is going to be about the Masaryk University. I'm going to share the presentation and uh, I should have Jakub Zeman here with us. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon and uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. We can go directly on the next slide. Masaryk University is uh, located in Brno, which is the second largest city of uh, Czechia. It's closer to Vienna than to Prague. And it's a site of um, the most successful university in Horizon 2020 and Horizon Europe, both in terms of uh, the funding acquired from the uh, programs and the number of projects. Importantly, in context of uh, postdoctoral fellowship, in the last call, we were the most successful organization, not only in Czechia, but also within all widening countries, which covers basically Eastern European countries, Portugal and Greece. Uh, this city uh, hosts 10 universities from life sciences to technologies to arts, and is very favorite among students. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, I'll be talking mainly about CETEC or presenting uh, supervisors from CETEC, which is Central European Institute of Technologies. 
It's a center of excellence at Masaryk University. That's a part of this institute, which is spread uh, all over Brno. And it's focused on life sciences, but our university hosts also uh, researchers from social sciences and humanities, as I will show. Okay, next slide, please. This is Masaryk University in numbers. You can see that we have uh, over 1500 different projects. We teach uh, over 150 programs and the number of students is quite impressive, 33,000. So you can imagine it's really full of students when this is only one university is, is uh, basically the biggest university in the city at the same size after, as the University of Technology. 10 faculties, which I will present in the next slides. Please. So you can see uh, that this is the list, uh, Faculty of Law, Faculty of Economics, Faculty of Arts, Social Sciences, Pedagogy for Teachers, Medicine, Science, Faculty of Informatics, Faculty of Pharmacy, and Faculty of Sports. Next slide, please. So I will present mainly uh, the current uh, demand of supervisors who are seeking for uh, fellows, potential fellows. And I collected the information across university and those who were interested were from Faculty of Economics and Administration. Next slide. And from SATEC, which is a quite impressive center of excellence that started 12 years ago. And since that time, it's, uh, it's become really established and a Central European leader also um, in charge of uh, several uh, consortia uh, trying to bridge uh, West and East uh, institutes in, in life sciences. Next slide, please. So specifically, this is one of our ERC holders. His main focus is lymphocytic leukemia and his uh, main focus is on the role of non-coding RNA in the molecular pathways that regulate microenvironmental interactions in normal and malignant immune cells. We also try to provide, provide contact directly on the supervisor and the responsible grant officer who will support you with the proposal preparation. And we also specify that we are interested both um, in this year's applicants and applicants for the next year. So if you cannot apply this year, don't hesitate to con uh, contact us this year because we can start the preparation early. Okay, next slide. Hélène Robert bois she's a plant biologist and her main focus is um, in the effects of temperature stress on seed development generally, but the experimental plant is Arabidopsis. She's, she herself was a Marie Curie fellow and she's been supervising several Marie Curie fellows. She's great supporter. She's one of the supervisors who is fully involved in the proposal preparation and that's why she is successful. Next slide, please. Lukas Trantirek is another prominent researcher. Um, his main research focus is non-coding genome. Uh, he, throughout his career, he uh, was awarded several grants and um, he's also looking for researchers for 23 and 24 application. Next, please. Michal Schmida, his main focus is functional genomics. And uh, now I will just go slides uh, one by one because I think that I've been, I've been running out of time. Marketa Pernicova, and these are guys from Faculty of Economics. So just the fields, business informatics, labor and health economics, macroeconomics, experimental and behavioral economics. We have a great infrastructure that allows for experimental uh, uh, research combined also with the magnetic resonance imagery, public administration, uh, uh, artificial intelligence in finance, another topic, and another topic, organizational behavior and HR management, uh, mobility and transport economics. And I think that we're nearly at the end. Regional economics. And that's it. So if you want to see all the details, please 
try to uh, visit the sites and contact directly, use the contacts that are presented in the, in the uh, presentation. Thank you very much there, Yaku, for presenting all these amazing opportunities that, as you mentioned, the Masaryk University offers, but also uh, the Center of Excellence uh, of SATEC. So thank you very much. Now we are going to move to two different institutions of the Czech Academy of the uh, Sciences. Uh, we will start with the first one, which is the Institute of Physics. Will be presented by Yuri Cervenka. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, so my name is Yuri Cervenka, and I am uh, science secretary and senior scientist at FZU, Institute of Physics of the Czech Academy of Sciences. So today uh, I'm excited to give you this talk and introduce our institute and the hosting opportunities. Uh, uh, so during my talk, I will try to convince that FZU is the best place to pursue your Marie Curie uh, postdoctoral fellowship. So uh, can you go to the next slide, please? Who we are? So we are the largest institute in the Czech Academy of Sciences. So uh, this is the public research institution. Uh, currently, we have more than uh, 1,100 employees uh, that uh, uh, pursue research. Uh, and we are oriented mainly on excellent basic and applied research in physics. But uh, it covers also all related disciplines. Uh, Next slide, please. We are located mainly in Prague, but we have also other sites in Dolny Brzezany, which is just on the outskirts of Prague and Olomouc uh, as part of joint laboratories uh, with uh, Palatsky University. Uh, we uh, uh, are, as I said, located in Prague. So the next slide, please. So the Prague is uh, a central part of Europe in the Czech Republic. Uh, it's uh, uh, the uh, uh, center is uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, uh, Prague is also famous for culture and student life. Uh, and it's definitely a fascinating place to conduct research. Next slide, Next slide please. So if you uh, think of which, uh, why SFU is the right place uh, to choose, we are one of the most successful institutions in the Czech Republic. Uh, we are all, uh, ranking uh, uh, among the top institutions in physics-related uh, uh, fields. Uh, we have uh, top research infrastructure and facilities. Uh, just to name a few, uh, we have built the most powerful uh, laser in the world uh, in the ELI Beamline Center. We have many other uh, unique research equipment and facilities uh, for characterizing materials uh, and many and more. Uh, uh, the most important is our excellent research teams and research scientists. Uh, many of them are uh, recipients of prestigious grants uh, like ERC, uh, and uh, there are in total more than 300 potential uh, supervisors uh, at our institute that can help you uh, to find the right topic for you. Uh, we try to provide inspirational research environment and also good working conditions as part of the HR Excellence in Research. And we uh, give uh, targeted training for postdocs and students. Uh, next slide. In our institute, uh, we have uh, five research divisions and they focus on different disciplines in physics, starting from elementary and astroparticle physics. And then we have two divisions that focus on uh, material uh, science, mainly condensed matter physics, uh, uh, where you can choose from various topics, from semiconductors, dielectrics to different uh, 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 you can do both theory and experiment, uh, so you can definitely find many possibilities there. We also focus on optics and laser physics. Uh, we do also multidisciplinary uh, research, not only physics by itself, so like biophysics and so on. Next slide, please. Uh, 
At FZU, we have a fairly large uh, postdoctoral community. Uh, uh, we uh, have currently more than 150 postdocs. Uh, that uh, out of them, there are eight Marie Curie postdocs and five. Uh, there are Czech versions of Marie Curie postdocs, as was mentioned by uh, uh, other institutions in the Czech Republic. This uh, uh, provides additional opportunity for postdocs if they don't succeed in the normal European version. Uh, they can still succeed if they have good ranking uh, in the national financing. And our institute has been also successful in gaining a Marie Curie co-fund. Uh, we have a physics for future projects that in the next five years uh, will bring to our institute 60 Marie Curie fellows. So that, uh, uh, that means that the postdoctoral community is growing and it's definitely very exciting for us and to welcome other people to join this uh, uh, community. Next slide, please. Okay, so uh, here I come to the end of my presentation. Uh, I hope I have convinced you that FZU is the right place to uh, apply uh, for Mar Marie Curie Postdoctoral Fellowship. Uh, if you uh, want to contact us, you can contact directly me uh, using science at fzu.cz, or you can look for potential supervisors on our website. Uh, they are will be all happy to receive your materials and your suggestions. So we look forward to your applications. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jirko. Uh, děkuji moc. Thank you for introducing uh, the um, uh, Institute of Physics of the Czech Academy of Sciences. So we are going to uh, move forward with uh, the last uh, institution by the Czech Republic, uh, which is going to be another institute, uh, the Institute of Organic Chemistry and Biochemistry of the Czech Academy of Sciences. Thank you, Victoria. My name is Pavlina Moloy rezakova I am a vice director for research at our institution. And our Institute of Organic Chemistry and Biochemistry uh, uh, welcomes welcomes Marie Curie fellows, uh, especially in life sciences. I would like to thank the previous speaker for introducing uh, Prague, which was uh, my task on this slide. Uh, you've seen that Prague is a nice historical city with also modern science, and that also stands for our institute. As you can see on this picture, our institute has a historical building, but also newly uh, built uh, modern building, and both are equipped with uh, state-of-art equipment and provide great science uh, that is very inspiring. And I would like to welcome you to come and join uh, us for your scientific career. Next slide, please. To introduce uh, IOCB Prague, uh, we are the leading scientific institution and we do have excellent basic research, but also successful applications. As you can see at the bottom of the slide, uh, where we have uh, several uh, current uh, papers, and on the left side, you can see uh, drugs that are currently treating millions of people in the world and that are originating from uh, research done at our institute. So uh, as you can see, we do have a great basic science, but we also have an emphasis, emphasis on collaboration uh, with commercial partners. We uh, also have an emphasis on inter interdisciplinary research and particularly successful in medicinal chemistry, chemistry of natural products, organic synthesis, and molecular modeling. We are, uh, we host uh, 49 scientific groups and we have uh, close to 1000 employees, many of them being uh, junior, junior scientists, including PhD students. And we do provide international environment, uh, which is exemplified by uh, more than 40 nationalities. Next slide, please. So uh, the research at IOCB can be clustered into three disciplines or clusters as we call them, chemistry, physical chemistry, and biochemistry. 
what is uh, very special about uh, our institute is that all these clusters uh, talk to each other and they collaborate. And we do have many unique, most multidisciplinary projects. So even biochemists can get trained or get exposed to other uh, clusters and vice versa. So next slide, please. So all the research uh, that was shown in the previous slide in the clusters is here at your disposal uh, to use it to advance your career. What you have to do is to uh, find um, your supervisor and exciting scientific project. And that is something that you have to do yourself. So I really welcome you or invite you to uh, check our web pages. Each group is represented by uh, thorough description of the projects, and you have a lot to choose from the three clusters described before. Next slide, please. So um, that is the first step that you have to uh, do. And once you identify uh, your favorite uh, scientific project, uh, you can um, either uh, uh, find them through uh, the way I described uh, previously, or you can check, check listed postdoc positions that are uh, currently shown on our webpage using this link. And then uh, please prepare a short proposal, uh, one page and include your uh, CV and a track record and contact uh, directly the selected group leader and negotiate for future collaboration. The group leader will come in contact with you and also engage our uh, project office who will be helping you with preparation of the proposal. Here, I would like to also mention that uh, we also have our source, uh, internal source IOCV fellowship for postdocs, uh, which you can check on the link indicated on this slide. Next slide, please. Um, I would like to also uh, promote um, a PhD program. Um, perhaps there are some um, younger colleagues watching or you can recommend us to your younger colleagues. We have more than 200 PhD students. And the last slide um, invites you to discover more about our institute. And here is um, here are all um, contact information that uh, you can use to find more uh, and I hope all of you uh, will be able to find uh, the best uh, career path for yourself and I really hope some of you uh, will be doing it in our institute. Thank you very much and thanks for the opportunity to uh, present our institute here. Thank you very much Pavlina for uh, introducing the different opportunities that the Institute of Organic Chemistry and Biochemistry offers to our researchers around the world. Uh, I can only confirm that uh, the Czech Republic is definitely one of the friendliest countries where you can find not only a lot of opportunities for research science and innovation, but also they have uh, different URAXA service centers that can help you with your move, information about visas, social security, health insurance, schools for children, etc. So uh, definitely uh, check them out uh, and uh, you will get uh, a lot of information that you need. So I would like to thank to the whole uh, Czech Republic team uh, for uh, joining us today. Um, if you want to stay a little longer, please do. Uh, there might be some direct questions uh, in the Q&A for you. Uh, if not, then of course, we will share all your presentations uh, with our audience today.